Having an animated logo helps you stand out and creates an original image for your brand. They capture the user's attention and leave a lasting impression. Lotti lends itself perfectly to this use case as they are lightweight and cross-platform. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get set up with an animated logo using Lotti and Lotti Interactive. When I was creating my logo for SV Genius, I started by creating the static version that I was going to use for my social media accounts. I then wanted to have it animated on my website, so I knew I wanted this to be the last frame of my animation. I just figured out how to get here and animate it to get to this point. So after thinking for a little while, this is what I came up with. Something simple that I knew would work well with Lottie as I only modify positions and scales. Also, it's good for night and dark mode because it's only one color, so it's easy to apply a filter to it as I showed in my last video. Once you have your animation ready, export it with either the Body Moving or Lottie Files plugin. I'm gonna be making a video very soon on the whole Lottie pipeline, explaining the different necessary steps. But for now, just use one of the plugins and grab your JSON file. So I'm just going to render it with the Lottie Files plugin and upload it to my account. And once that's done, there we go. Just gonna head over to my Lottie Files account and it's available here. So that's good. For integrating my animation onto the web, I'm gonna be using my own open source library, Lottie Interactive. The link will be in the description. And to get started, all you have to do is copy this line of code into the header of your HTML file or at the bottom. Uh, as you would do any other JavaScript. I'm using a framework called Nuxt, so I used npm install for it, and I use it as a plugin. So heading into a bit of the code, I'm using Bootstrap for my front-end framework. So inside of the navbar brand class, um, I have my Lottie Interactive element, and you just need to set a path so I'm setting a local path. However, this can be the private URL that Lottie Files gives you. Uh, so if you use the asset link, um, you can use that as well, rather than using a local path. For logos, I like to set up my Lottie Interactive element uh, in this specific way. So I use the autoplay attribute, so that's gonna play the animation on page load and I add an interaction uh, which is hover so that when the user hovers over the logo it uh, replays the animation. Uh, you don't have to put that if you don't want to. If you just want it to play once uh, just leave autoplay. There is also an attribute called reset which will reset the animation to the first frame once it's done playing. Um, however since my last frame is, well, since my animation isn't a loop or, well, the last frame is what I want to be displayed uh, afterwards, I've not included it. That's all you need. Uh, Lottie Interactive with a path, the autoplay attribute, and a hover interaction. And you can now just reload your page. As you can see, it's autoplaying on page load and then it's staying on the last frame. And then if I hover over it, it's playing again. And so if I put the reset attribute, there we go. It will set it to the first frame, but obviously uh, this isn't what I want my logo to look like. So I'm going to remove it. And it's as simple as that. Once you have your logo animated as a Lottie, all it takes is a few lines of code to get integrated onto a website or a mobile app, and it'll help you stand out and leave a lasting impression on your users, pleasantly surprising them when they hover over your logo. If this video helps you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.